some of you might have read the great work in the Tampa Bay Times. I know other people were like, I don't have access. You got to obviously it's behind a paywall. Many things are, but I'll, I'll read what Alden Gonzalez from ESPN said about that article. He said, hate to see what's going on in St. Pete. A stalled bond vote has put a new stadium deal in jeopardy. The estimate on the Trops roof repair might have been way too low. And now the Rays could consider relocation by 2026, which is also when you get the classic situation of the team saying, oh, we might have to leave. But here's the thing. (laughs) This is all coming up very quickly. So that's why this deal finally came to fruition. Then it got stalled, including potentially what happened with the weather situation out there. There are new people taking over in politics. So you add it all up and what? What do we think? The only thing we do know is they're playing in Tampa next year. Then what? Are they even right. fixing that That's roof? The now they might just Well, they leave. Took, finally took all the stuff off the roof. So now it's just the, the, the skeleton. Of it's the naked. Roof. There's yeah. no more whatever tarp, whatever that was on there. It's just the, the bones, the skeleton. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. But if the, if the price, this is what we've been talking about the whole time, though, from people I had talked to. There was so much money involved in getting it fixed. The Rays were like, why are we going to waste our money? If they can pay $15 million a year and play three years in Tampa, so they pay $45 million for three years in Tampa, they're going to make more than that. Yes, they're paying the Yankees. The Yankees are going to go out and get a player and say, thanks, Tampa. Thanks, Rays. <laughs> $15 million. Yeah, and that is by far the highest. goes to $20 million and then twenty five. You, know, you just don't know. Yeah. But again, what happens if they go there and they sell that out? Because that place is big. It holds like $15,000. Mm-hmm. It's right there on Dale Mabry across from the Buck Stadium. Yeah. They're gonna Tons get, of people around there. They're going to get action there. Okay. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff to do. Restaurants, bars, everything is kind of right in that area. What happens if they go there and they sell it out every night? I mean, I don't think they will, but you know, they, they get 12. They were only averaging what at the Trump? I don't even know what they were averaging. It said 16, 12, but that's, yeah, that's yeah. a lie. They didn't have 16. Yeah. To me, I thought they were getting like, when I would go to games, my guess was like seven to 8,000 a night. Which yeah. that's, but that's I mean, then they play the Yankees or the Red number. Sox. Yeah, then it, teams where they just drew. Then better. it fills up yes. hard. Yeah, but the okay. Fast forward, if they do get great attendance in Tampa, that still doesn't mean they get a deal done with the city. And this doesn't even just have to do with the team. This is a league thing as well. They need cities to give them a huge chunk of cash, or other owners won't approve because that puts them in a bad leverage position with their city. This is where things get really mm-hmm. complicated, and there is an outside chance that they just go, you know what? Nashville's a lock. Let's just put this there. There is a chance. I'm telling you. They mm-hmm. just did that with another spot. And some cities are giving a ton of money out, right? We saw, what? who is it? Milwaukee just gave a bunch of money to redo yeah. or renovate that ballpark. Renovate. Yeah. So we've got Arizona threatening right now. I don't know if there's been any progress there. This is the, the, the real stuff, obviously, that we cover behind the scenes. That gets incredibly complicated because the ask from the MLB and the team side is to give a ton of money from the city and really a ton of real estate is what it ends up being to create these mini cities that sometimes, most times turn out awesome, but also it's tough to sell within your community that you're giving these people this much money when they can pay for it themselves. They, I, I don't think I, I, what's holding this up is the new people that are, that came into office, came into the government spots that they're in to make, to have to do this vote for the bonds. They want to keep their spots. Political people do not want to lose their power. They do not want to be the regime, the the whatever, the the people in government that got the Rays kicked out of town. To me, I think it's just stalled because they want to make sure their imprint, their footprint, their thumbprint on this whole thing is going in a direction that they want it to. Unless they're just so strongly opposed then the Rays have to actually put their foot down and be like, well, we will move if you don't say that. Like, it's $1.3 billion project over 30 years to develop that entire area. I don't know. If you got if you got voted into office, if you got voted into your government spot, I don't think you want to be the one that's that kicks the Rays out of town because I don't think you're getting reelected. No, that's not what it's – that's not it at all, I don't think. It's not that – they got elected – they got elected and they got elected on something, right? Whatever. I don't know what the, mm-hmm. the election, right. what the positions were. Sure. Some of them probably are just looking to get a better deal because let's say they got elected on, you know, homelessness or, you know, mm-hmm. more medical or what, whatever their thing was they're that flat. they got into this position. Yep. Like they're thinking, well, man, why am I giving 600 million to the Rays when 
you know, yep. 50 million can go to your homelessness or 50 million can yes. go to help schools. And that's yep. what they were campaigned on. So now they have to take the hard line when at the end of the day, they don't want the raise to leave because the raise bring enough, but they have to at least posture like, well, let's see if we can get a little bit of a better deal here and there. And that might happen. Right? And it might that's happen. And it might not. But yeah. still, they got to at least say to their constituents and the people who voted for them, I try. Yes, exactly. Right? And now yep. the other problem they have is, I, I mean, I, you know, obviously living in Florida, you've been here in Florida. I know we have to get a break, but the hurricanes that hit, right, did so much damage, not only to the Trump, like we're only talking about the Trump, but to people's lives. Brett Phillips said, you know, his family is lucky, but there's people I know that lost houses. Look, I mean, go talk. If you talk to Trisha Whitaker, I mean, she's lost her car, her house. Everything. She's not even barely back yet because she can't get to her apartment. She lived in all this stuff. Right. So there's so many other worries about things they have to worry about. This is kind of almost like, oh, how can we vote yes to give five hundred million dollars when there's people that are homeless that don't have anything right now? Yeah. So we need that money to go somewhere else. That's where it's kind of all hit at one time. And now they're like, oh, crap, what's going to happen? This is a tough sell to a place that just yeah. got hit hard twice. That's yeah. that's part. I mean, of Pat what McAfee it's about. again. I know it's college football, but like he gave four hundred grand. The the kid hit the field goal for four hundred thousand dollars to Hurricane Relief. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That doesn't do anything. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not that it's it not, does something. It's an but... unbelievable gesture, but like that's that number is so small for all the people that are out of the stuff that like they're, we're talking hundreds of millions that need to go here to help people recover to where they were. Right. That's why it's And that's hard. why the trop is like, oh, it's there. Great. No, we cares. Imagine someone's going to be like, well, you're going to fix that for a few years for yeah. this league, this billion, you know, multi-billion dollar league just for the city. Like, that's a bad look. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long. So do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball, the way it should be covered.